All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about USB descriptors. And just like previous, I'm going to give you an overview. And at the end, we'll bring up Wireshark and we can actually look at some of these packets. So a USB descriptor are basically these messages that describe properties of the USB device. Uh, these can be who's made it, how much power it draws, class specific information, basically any information that's within the USB spec. Now, these USB device descriptors come in as binary blobs like most things in USB. So to discern how the packets are viewed, it starts off with the size and then the type. And some of the most common types are device, configuration, interface, and endpoint. And just so we get an idea of what a USB descriptor looks like from a general view. Um, I got a little picture right here. So uh, this is an example of the uh, configuration response. So we have a configuration type with a, a known size of nine. And what kind of makes USB sometimes a pain to work with is in this case, the configuration has a property of the total size. So this when you're constructing these packages you have to know exactly how big these are which can be a pain in the neck but in this with these kind of responses there is a known pattern of things to go so a configuration only has a few options to go after it and one of them being a type interface and then usually at the end there'll be an endpoint to describe the interface and this is just another example of a packet inside the configuration that needs to specify its own size so um, when you're actually writing out these configuration responses uh, usually it, it can be kind of a pain to work out so you'll need some other external piece of software to write these all right so here I'm actually going to start describing the most common ones and you can think of this as a hierarchy. The device descriptor being the highest level and the endpoint being the lowest level of, uh, from a communication standpoint. So device descriptors describe properties for the entire device, like the USB version manufacturer. Um, and most importantly, the amount of configurations for this device. And I think of the device descriptor as, you know, kind of being the kind of stuff you could find on the box for the device. So these are just the top level properties of this USB device. So a configuration houses how much power the device is using and the interfaces it has. And personally, I think of the configuration as being this basket of what the device can do in its entirety. So for an example, I brought up a piano or such keyboard and option one you can have a configuration where it's just a mini device or you can have a configuration where it's just outputting some sort of uh, audio or you could set it up as just having one configuration with both of these supported interfaces at once so with configurations you can define what is inside the possible options. Uh, most USB devices just have one configuration because you can usually configure it to have the option to use both of these and just disable one at a time. Okay. So now the interface describes the USB class you are to using. So in this case, we have an interface of one, which is going to be the MIDI device which in the USB specification is under audio. And then there's a subclass for uh, MIDI. And then in interface two, we have another USB class audio. And there's gonna be a subclass for like uh, PCM sounds, the kind of stuff you would pump through your speakers. Now, usually what follows the interface will be the, the class specific descriptors that will describe the specific descriptions for, in this case, the audio device. All right. 
And lastly, we have the endpoints. Now, the endpoint is the way the actual USB data is getting sent over. So in this case, we have a MIDI device which needs two different endpoints. Some information going out to the MIDI device, because this is from the perspective of the host, and some MIDI data going in to the device to tell you what keys you're pressing in this case, for example. And these endpoints need to describe, you know, the max packet size, what kind of transportation that's actually going to be happening. Say if it's a bulk transfer or an interrupt transfer, the address it's going to be at. So for endpoint 2, it's going to be address 2. But if it's an in, so for example, if it's an in for endpoint 1, the address is actually going to be 0x81. And this 81 is what actually defines that it is an in and not an out endpoint. And these endpoints are going to be linked up with your interface. So it's going to be almost a, it's usually going to be the last message at the end. So your interface is going to describe all your properties. At the end, your endpoints will describe how those, how that information is actually going to be sent. Um, and just so we're all on the same page, a there will be one device descriptor that can have many configurations with that also can have many interfaces that can have many endpoints. If you don't specify an endpoint, then it's just going to use the zero endpoint. All right, so now we're going to start to look at this through Wireshark. So we've got a terminal here. We're going to see that I want to look at the descriptor information for something simple like this mouse right here, bus one, device five. So we'll open up Wireshark and we'll open up bus one and we'll go to the top and we can see the destination right here is this 1.5 and this response right here is setting up the USB device to properly talk to the computer. All right, so first message is the git descriptor. Let's, it's the git descriptor for the device. All right, so we can see right here, it's requesting, uh, to get the description of device from the host to the to our mouse, and we respond in turn with the length first, then the description type, and also in here we're saying that this is USB 2 device. It's by Logitech with a product ID of Dell Laser Mouse, and most importantly at the bottom it says how many configurations this mouse has, which is one. So, with that information, the host has to get the description of the configuration zero. And it asks for it with a length of nine, which is the default size for this for a configuration. So, in here, it once again says the length of description with the type and most importantly, it says what the total size of the description is. Without this, the host doesn't know how much, how many bytes to ask for the entire description properties. So now it can re-ask for the configuration with the full size, and here we get the full descriptions and all the endpoints and interface descriptors. All right. So this message is exactly like the message up there, but now we have the interface description with the specific class HID description and then the endpoint description. So let's walk this up. All right. So nothing too fancy, just saying that, you know, length of nine is interface and it is of type HID mouse. 
Um, and here we can see that the endpoint is um, an in, so it's going to the computer, and it's what is it? It's an interrupt with a max packet size of six. So from here, we've garnished all the information needed to actually start, you know, working with the with this mouse. All right. So we're going to increase this with a camera. All right, so let's go back here. Increase this up, us USB. And we see this Logitech camera is device six on bus one. So let's recapture this. All right, and we can see, just like before, we've got the Git descriptors right here. And, you know, same process, but the configuration is going to be a little bit more complex. It's 3,000 plus bytes versus the like 60 or, or I think it was like 80 bytes the other one had. So there's a lot of different stuff here. All right, so let's enlarge this. And I'm gonna just slowly go through this. Now I'm not an expert in audio, but we can still garner a lot of information from this, this structure right here. All right, so what we got this is the first this is the first packet which is an interface associative descriptor not to be confused with the interface descriptor the interface associative descriptor describes a scenario where one interface is not enough to properly describe this specific class so in this case we have this class audio in 0.0, .0 and then we have another interface in 0 0.1 and these two together describe the audio and we can see that with the interface class right here all right so now going back to the interface descriptor we have an audio class control class and there is no endpoint descriptor in this section right here so it, what happening here is they're using endpoint zero, all right? And this section right here, let's see, actually has the audio streaming. And this looks kind of scary because we have one, two, three. But in reality, these are all almost the exact same thing. And we can see that if we look at the endpoint descriptors. So we can see that the endpoint is in six. Endpoint is in six. Endpoint is in six. So all of these are pointing to the exact same location. Now, one thing that differs these two is the packet size. So it is not uncommon to have multiple endpoint descriptors with different packet sizes to allow for allocating smaller sections of the USB bus for messages. And we'll see that again in a little bit. So like I said, I don't know exactly what is happening in these class specific, apparently a frequency but you're just gonna, if you want to use audio, you're just gonna have to download the audio specific specification and fill out the descriptors yourself. All right, so we keep going down. We have a, another uh, interface associative scripture for video this time. And we have another video class which has all the descriptors, kind of just like the audio one did. 
in this case with its own endpoint, which is an interrupt. Cool, okay. And here we actually have the, just like the audio, this was the configuration interface. This interface is the data we're going to be piping down the line. So this is all the video, possible video configurations. Loads of stuff. And here, just like the audio, we have tons of different endpoints. So, and all these endpoints do just about the same exact thing. We're going to click this. Uh, no, we're going to click the endpoint, see the max size. And if you go down to the bottom, max size of 5,000 versus 100. So, um, lots of descriptors here, but a lot of them are doing the exact same thing. It's just USB tends to be pretty verbose in what you can do. In this case, you have to like specify all the possible resolutions you need in the specific formats. Um, you know, like this will, most of this information will be something you could easily calculate. But in USB, you just have to specify every possible iteration for most cases. All right. And lastly, I just want to show you some extra descriptors that will be in USB 3 devices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. And I'm going to plug I'm going to plug in a drive. Mass storage drive. And what we can do is LSUSB, and we should see the SanDisk portable drive. So if we open sudo Wireshark, uh, and we open up USB 2. We should see this get descriptor. All right, that's gonna like this is all like the bulk transfer, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, but what you will see is this super speed endpoint companion, basically upscaling these endpoints to work with the higher bandwidth of USB uh, super speed devices. Um, so, yeah, hopefully um, this has been helpful, a lot of information, and leave a comment if I guess something wrong. Um, USB can be pretty complicated, so just trying to spread what I think is the right information.